Hi foodies, welcome back to my channel. We're making some Christmas cake Jamaican style today. And of course, we can't leave out our Ray and Nevio, right? So we have some white rum and some red label wine, all right? If you can't get red label wine in your area, you can use a port or, a, you know, a red wine that's not too dry because this just works perfectly for us. So we always try to use this whenever we make our Christmas cakes. So first thing you need is your soaked fruit so i've used some of this already and this is just um some cherries and raisins and uh, some uh prunes that's what's in here and it's soaked in that same red label wine and white rum i soaked them from last year and that's basically it okay so let's prepare our cake tin all right so once you get your cake tin, you just lay the piece of parchment paper on there and just cut a circle around. All right. I remember when we were at, um, I think, high school and we used to actually use a pencil and draw the circle. But, <laughs> but the better way is to do this or there's other techniques as well. So just cut around and, you know, move your hand, of course, work with it, cut around it might not be a perfect circle, but if that bothers you, you can always just, you know, trim the edges. I'll show you what I mean. So the other technique is to get a square and then just fold it into um, four. And then the point, you would put it in the center and whatever hangs off, whatever extra parchment paper is hanging off of that cake tin, then you would just cut around so anything that's hanging off the edge here you would just cut that off and cut around so that's another technique to cut out the circle you can also order the parchment paper circles on amazon too so there's many ways to get this done and if it's not smooth enough just cut around again if that bothers you all right see i'm just cutting it around again make it neater and that's it you're good I'm going to be greasing this with some butter. I'm just using the same thing. This is what the butter came in, okay? If this is not bougie enough for you, then you can use your brush and brush off the butter, off of the paper, and um, brush your cake tin. So just make sure you grease it thoroughly. No flour needed. If you feel like, you know, you're more comfortable with flour, fine, but the butter is enough. And then just lay your parchment paper or grease paper in there. Do not buy wax paper okay that's it and you can prep your two pans if you're using two pans this one is i'm going to be using parchment paper but this one now i'm just going to grease with butter all right this is my sample tin okay so now we have some softened butter guys we're gonna make our batter now right so softened butter you want to sit it out at room temperature for a few hours if needed so it can get soft it's better to do it that way than to melt it in the microwave, all right? Because it most likely is going to get too runny. So leave it out at room temperature. And then we're going to be adding some sugar. I use G sugar and brown sugar as well because you get the sweetness, but then you get that really deep, rich flavor and moisture from the brown sugar. So some soft brown sugar. And then just continue to cream this and let it get nice and fluffy. If you use only the white sugar, then of course the creamed mixture is going to be a little bit lighter and it's going to cream even faster. But because I'm using the brown sugar, it might take a little while. All right. And you want it to look nice and fluffy. Now I want you to get your spatula. Get your rubber spatula and scrape down the sides because what's happening is we're using a hand mixer not a standing mixer believe it or not i don't have a standing mixer so i'm using my hand mixer and it's much smaller right so it's really just hitting the center mostly unless you really move it around so it's very important to scrape down the sides and then you'll get a nice fluffy creamy mixture like this 
okay it might look a little different if you're using only white sugar all right i'm gonna go in just um a little more and, and cream the the mixture and then we will be good to go we're gonna be adding some eggs to this guys you want your eggs to be sitting at room temperature before you start baking your cake it's always better that way than to take the cold eggs out of the fridge all right so i have my large eggs here and in the caribbean you know we we take out the um you know that little stringy area there that holds the yolk and the white you know together we take that out because you know our parents everybody told us growing up that this just it has an eggy smell and makes the cake have that raw eggy smell so we take those little white things out and then I'm just gonna beat this lightly if you beat the eggs lightly from now then when you're adding them to the mixture then it won't take a lot of time to mix them in right so now we have our dry ingredients all right so we have some ginger powder and cinnamon here and we're adding them to some flour all-purpose flour use cake flour if you want to all purpose is fine and then I'm going in with some freshly grated nutmeg and some coriander powder of course we're going to be adding some allspice and some ground cloves and some baking powder all of these are dry so add them together and some salt too all right we want to sift all of this together the good thing about sifting is you get to incorporate air into your mixture but you also get to remove any large lumps or any other you know particles that are just too hard and then you are good to go now we are gonna whisk these why are we whisking it because you want everything evenly distributed you don't want the salt to just be in one corner you want to mix everything together okay So guys, this is a pureed fruits. So the fruits that I showed you initially that I soaked, I just blended it. If it's too dry, you can always add a little wine, but it was perfectly fine. I just blended it and then I'm going to be pouring it into this bowl because I'm going to be adding some vanilla here and I'm going to add some browning. Now listen guys, browning is a choice the amount is a choice if you want the cake to be black you can add much more browning for me it doesn't matter to me i don't want i don't need it to be jet black okay and some of the brownings are a little bitter too so you can add more browning but i'm fine with this amount okay and you can add burnt sugar if you have that this is some almond essence you don't want to add too much of that it is very strong but it does add a nice, nice flavor to the cake. So definitely try to include it. Some people use rose water. I prefer the almond essence. And then I'm gonna be adding some fancy molasses. Regular molasses is fine. I prefer fancy molasses because it is lighter in flavor, but you still get that beautiful color and taste, all right? If you can't get the fancy molasses, just use a little more browning for color. All right. Of course, I'm adding some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Don't buy that stuff in a bottle. Just squeeze your own lemon, please. It's much better. You need the lemon to create that balance. This is very sweet. So the tang is perfect in this. So set this aside and go back to your creamed butter and sugar mixture. Add your lemon zest or if you prefer orange zest, you can use that. Don't leave it out. All right. And then we're going to be adding the eggs. So usually I'd say add one egg at a time, but because it is lightly beaten, just add a little at a time. Okay. And if the curdling bothers you, just, to, you know, you can add like um, a tablespoon or so of flour after you add each egg it really isn't necessary guys okay i'm just showing it to you if the curdling seeing the curdling bothers you all right so we're moving on we're gonna cream this mixture 
all right and make sure you add the eggs a little at a time i know you might get impatient and say you know what, let me just throw all of this no add it a little at a time okay guys next step so we've added those eggs and we have a choice of using a wooden spoon or a spatula at this point okay we're going to be folding in the rest of the ingredients the reason we do that is because we don't want to over mix this because we want this to be a cakey fluffy texture all right and as a matter of fact our grandparents and great grandparents many of them didn't even have mixers they just used wooden spoons and the cakes were perfect all right so don't worry about it so you just use your spatula and you're going to do a cut and fold so you fold in the fruits and then the flour and it's all a little at a time so cut and fold so basically you cut through the middle and go around and fold over so this is better for incorporating these things because you prevent over mixing but you're doing it thoroughly to make sure everything is mixed properly the oven is preheated 330 degrees Fahrenheit so pour the mixture into your pan you could use either an 8 inch or a 9 inch pan and this is a dense cake guys so make sure you you know bring it up to the brim all right you can leave off let me see maybe about three quarter of an inch from the top of the tin to the batter because remember this is not going to um this is a very dense cake so if you only put a little bit of batter in the cake tin your cake is gonna be flat so give it a gentle shake a gentle tap to get out those air bubbles and straight into the oven all right this one is my tester all right so i just pour the rest of the batter in here and we're gonna put this in the oven it's good to have a cake that you can sample because if you're giving it to if you're giving the other cake to a customer or to family then you'll have an idea of what your cake tastes like all right so in your oven put a baking tray at the bottom shelf with some boiling water okay and this is going to be bottom shelf your cakes are going to be middle shelf the steam is going to rise up and moisten the cakes all right and this is my tester out of the oven guys when you take the cake out of the oven and it's still hot you can brush it with a mixture of white rum and red label wine no specific measurements this is just to add even more um, flavor and alcohol to the cake and the aroma is so beautiful guys um, this doesn't really add much sheen it's more about moisture and flavor but if you want the cake to have a sheen then you get some liquid from the soaked fruits all right so this is from my um, jar with some soaked fruits and brush on that liquid that is in there that liquid is a mixture of um, softened fruits and rum and wine so it will give it more sheen and it, you know it's just more attractive that way all right you don't have to do it so I'm just gonna cut into my tester and show you guys all right I did prick it with a skewer and it came out fairly clean that's how I knew I could take it out of the oven because remember it's smaller so I had to take it out before the other one all right so I'm gonna cut into it and let you see So it's still kind of warm but we want something that's more cakey than puddingy all right so you get a lot of crumbs you see that nice nice and remember as I told you guys if you want it to be darker you can add more browning trust me it is absolutely delicious all right I know this is gonna be done by tomorrow <laughs> so that's why it's good to have the tester cake so you don't eat out the customer cake or eat out your family or friend cake all right so look at this that's inside see it's really nice and fluffy so guys this is the other cake done i checked it with the skewer the skewer came out clean and there were just a few crumbs but they weren't very wet so i was satisfied that the cake was good to go and then i'm just going to do the same brush on the liquid from my soaked 
fruits on top to give it some sheen and some extra flavor and moisture and if you're keeping your cake until christmas it's good to you know day by day just brush it on um, or brush on some extra rum and wine or if you have a clean spray bottle you can put some wine and rum in it and just spritz your cake every now and then keep it nice and moist but look at that guys it's beautiful it's really tasty as well and remember to check out my other video that cake uses um stewed fruits and the texture is a little bit different so let me know which one you prefer and guys i guarantee you this is gonna be delicious i can't wait to hear what you think please remember to leave a comment once you try the recipe all right so guys thanks again for watching remember to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time